Hello there. This is my Sharp Optinica stereo receiver, um, SA5101. Now, I think that's how you pronounce this word. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this unit's been in storage actually for um, must be 15 years or so. So um, I thought it's probably best to pop the lid off before I power this up and see if it still works. Um, it's actually a, a really quality item uh, made in Japan by Sharp and uh, I've already taken the screws off so let's take this cover off. The cover actually is uh, made of proper wood and it's got a panel here, um, a see-through panel as you can see which is to allow the amp to uh, basically vent the heat out because it's quite hefty as you can see um, some quality items I would say in terms of the capacitors and the two separate boards that we can see here so um, on the left is the power supply and the amplifier part and then on the right I believe is the uh, receiver part so this is an amp stroke receiver and the receiver part has FM stereo and AM. I don't think it's got any other channels. Um, so this is a really nice sort of finish, a nice 1970s style. Um, so it's got output for four speakers and um, has the various standard bass treble balance. The, uh, the volume is in the center. There's also on this side a loudness, um, a dubbing switch. So basically this was in the era of the early cassette decks so um, so that's for that there's an air check switch and um, FM eating here I don't believe I've ever used that um, and this is the main selector so we've got the tape phono so the phono con contains the um, like the preamp and uh, a selector for the radio and, uh, and that looks about it so um, it's been a way in storage for um, for many years because I basically uh, got hold of a Technics um, like a 90s system so this is sort of 20 years older and um, although it's um, output on the back says 200 watts it does um, dis distort at very high volume and the speakers I had I don't think were um, the right sort of speakers for the unit to drive essentially so um, yeah I just thought you'd be interested to uh, to have a little look and uh, see the back as well so we've got the antenna along here for FM and AM I believe there's a ground there for phono oh no there's a ground there there's another ground um, there's also uh, the inputs here for the tape as well as um, tape two as well so yeah it looks like tape one phono and tape two and there's a, a aerial in there so um an arrangement for the different speakers on the back as well so uh, i'm going to give that a go and um, i'll let you know if it works and i'll probably add a short video about it working thank you for watching bye for now